welcome to part two of how to install Git in Visual Studio 2012. In part one, uh, we walked through how to install the Git uh, source control provider, which gave us this um, new pending changes window. So in this part, I will walk through how to um, check in and check out um, code through this new pending changes window. To begin, let's walk over um, to GitHub, uh, which is a free Git source control provider uh, repository system. And I will actually create a new repository here and call it um, Git test. Public is fine. And we'll initialize it with a readme file. So now this is my uh, URL to the uh, a Git repository. So if I come over here now in Visual Studio, the Git provider unfortunately requires parts of the setup to be done using a command line. So we will first uh, set some environment variables. Um, git config global user.name, and I'll set that to Digiaz. That's my username. And git config global, if I can type it in here, uh, user.email. I will set that to digioz at gmail.com, which is my email for GitHub. So with that done, I am now ready to uh, clone uh, GitHub, uh, my uh, GitHub repository. So to do that, I will copy this link here. the command line first we have to figure out where we are looks like we're in C program files and where I actually want to end up is, where do I end up? is here so up in C projects temp get test directory, I can now use the git clone command to uh, get the new repository that I just created, github.com slash digios git test git. And it will go through and it will basically copy all the files that are in the repository from the remote server into this new directory. So, um, at this point, I'm ready to um, create my new project. So, let's take a quick look at the directory that we just um, created called git test. And in here, all you see right now is the readme file and a .git uh, folder, which has all the information that Git needs to keep track of your uh, changes. So, um, let's create a new project and we will make it a C Sharp Windows Forms uh, project and I want to specify this folder that I just um, created 
as the path so that the um, so that git uh, creates this project and this new uh, folder okay and I notice as soon as the project got created the git provider detected that we have some new files in here which are not a part of the source control so I can select all of them and uh, click on commit to commit these changes so um, let's say initial commit to git and we will commit these changes which adds them to source control. Now, the thing that you won't see here under files, if you go to GitHub, you won't see anything showing up in Git yet. That's because we haven't pushed it yet. So, the next thing that we have to do here is to push our changes to the remote repository. So, uh, let's um, try to push the um, um, changes to the uh, remote repository. Um, first, I will have to do git remote set URL origin and then the uh, path to my git repository. So what this does, the command does, is, is it sets your remote repository for this um, uh, directory that you're in right now. So and then all I have to do is git push origin to the master branch. So this command pushes uh, our changes to the master branch. So uh, hit enter and I should. Uh, prompt you for the username and uh, of course password the password won't uh, show obviously on the screen so uh, it will go through and it will push all your changes up to the uh, git repository and at this point if you visit um, the uh, repository you should see all your files first of all here under the files um, tab and if you go inside of the, uh, the folder here you can go browse through the uh, changes and also under the commits um, tab you will see your changes here and you can actually um, browse through what um, the files were that you committed to um, source control. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Um, uh, please subscribe and uh, leave comments or feedback you may have. Thank you.